stand down. What a night. What a couple of nights here in Charlotte. Great things happening for a couple of teams that really needed them. Roush Fenway gets into the All-Star Race, so does Michael Waltrip Racing. And a Toyota had never won it. Joe Gibbs Racing had never won it. That's over. Denny Hamlin is $1.1 million richer. He is the champion of the Sprint All-Star Race. Team Patriarch Joe Gibbs, the coach, is to celebrate. <laughs> Team President J.D. Gibbs has been fighting some health issues. He is here. He'll be part of the celebration. There he is in the white shirt and the glasses. What a great night for Joe Gibbs Racing. I'm going to look at our five-hour energy big move in the race. The final restart. But what happened with about three to go? Yeah, well, he saw us coming there, and I was really good in the middle lane, but I needed all the air on the front of the car, and especially pushing there as hard as you can at the end. Uh, my car just took off up the racetrack and, and uh, lost all the ground that it made up. But really proud of everybody on the Hunt Brothers team. I thank Jimmy Johns and Budweiser and Chevrolet for everything that they do for us. And just a really, really fast race car. I put us in a hole after qualifying, and, and um, a really fast race car was able to dig us out of it. So a lot of fun, just uh, came up a little short. One spot away from the million dollars. Big difference between 1.1 and 200,000. 250. Oh, 250, 250 for second place. Yep. Yeah. Now, in addition, Joe Gibbs Racing also had another big win. Kyle Busch back at the Speedway and uh, finishes the race in sixth place. Chris Neville. Well, Kyle Busch might not be in victory lane, but Kyle, after everything you've been through in the last three months, coming home a top ten, it's got to feel like a win. Uh, yes and no. I wish I would have beat my teammate for fifth, but uh, no, we, we had a great race tonight. It was really, really good for us. This Eminem's Camry was fast, and, uh, you know, a great job to Adam Stevens and my team. You know, I was comfortable in the car. Everything worked well for me, and I uh, just felt like getting back into home, you know. So um, it was definitely progress for uh, what's going to happen next week and for looking forward to being able to, to run 400 laps around here, 600 miles, and, uh, you know, try to get a strong finish. We just got to minimize our mistakes. We didn't do that tonight. I sped on pit road. We had a loose wheel. So fortunately, that was all in the same segment and it didn't bite us twice. So, um, you know, a lot of consolation prizes for us in this 18 team. But uh, appreciate M&M's, Monster Energy, Interstate Batteries, Toyota, all of our partners that uh, stood behind me through this whole process and made everything worthwhile coming back. Kyle Bush, sixth tonight. Now, Denny Hamlin is parked in turn two uh, behind one of the uh, Sprint Cup safety cars as they set up the victory lane stage, which is right here along the front straightaway. Let's hear from Kurt Busch, who led a segment and finished third. Matt? Great run by the 41 team and Kurt Busch, but was the tone set for that final segment with the restart? Well, we finished no worse than fifth in all of our segments. That put us in position for the pit crew to do their job. They did great. And we restarted second, and you know we're gonna have to go to the tape and look at it and see if uh, Denny went went too soon. I was anticipating, uh, you know, the restart zone, which is right here. If you guys want to zoom in, it's right there. Check it out. It's, it's it's in white with a lot of red lines on it. And his car went two car lengths before that in my mind, but we got a podium finish thanks to Chevrolet, uh, Haas Automation, Monster Energy is a great night. I mean, we didn't finish worse than fifth in any of our segments. We did our job, and uh, I was asleep at the wheel on a restart. Third place for Kurt Busch. Now Brad Keselowski had to restart at the back because of that speeding penalty. He fought his way back to ninth. Chris? Brad Keselowski came to pit lane first on that final stop, but a speeding penalty. Brad, you had to go to the back. Would you have had anything for the 11? Oh, no. Whoever gets the clean air with this format and this rules package is going to drive away. We've seen that uh, the last three years. And... Uh, with this particular car, it's probably even more so. I thought the 41 and the 4 were, you know, probably two or three tenths faster than everybody, but without clean air, it, it, it doesn't matter. So uh, I knew when I came out pit stall and 11 was pulling out with me, I either 
beat him to that line or lose the race. And, uh, you know, the penalty was I was three tenths of a mile an hour over the speed limit. Uh, but I told my crew chief I'd rather go down swinging than, you know, take a strike uh, and wonder what might have been. So the swung, we missed. Uh, Lev team did a great job, so congrats to Denny. That their pit stops were phenomenal and uh, easily won this race, but uh, they got a lot to be proud of. And so does my team. We just got to keep working to be better. A lot of strategy, a lot of excitement, and a few penalties. And I agree with Brad Keselowski. Denny Hamlin's pit crew put him on the pole, put him in position to win, and Denny Hamlin did the rest. He is a sprint all-star race winner, and Chris, he's about to get over a million dollars. Yeah, and uh, Michael Waltrip on the grid walk earlier, you know, this was the this was the suit. We wanted to keep an eye on that. That goes to Denny Hamlin. I know you're part of the Toyota family, but you have Joe Gibbs, who's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame as a coach. He's, of course, won championships as a car owner. Uh, but special tonight, him starting the evening and having his drive, getting his first win in the All-Star Race, and Denny Hamlin's first as well. And an emotional moment for him and J.D. Gibbs, as uh, Mike mentioned. Well, certainly J.D. being there has to mean the world to that family, but these things are so hard to run, win, Chris. And Joe Gibbs Racing had never won the All-Star Race, and it's been a bit of a struggle in 2015 for the Toyotas on the bigger tracks. They can put all that behind them now. The Toyota engines were very strong here in Charlotte. That means good things for the rest of the season. We couldn't really talk serious about Toyotas being real contenders for the championship until you got them the power on these big tracks that we saw tonight. Now that opens up a whole bunch of opportunities for that organization. I bet he's just overflowing with emotion. You gotta put that money back in there, by the way. We gotta get this to Denny once they set up the uh, stage. Yeah. Let's check in downstairs. It was such an amazing job. We saw car after car slide through the pit and not be able to execute what Denny Hamlin did. While he was sliding through the pit in neutral, he was able to get that thing in reverse and before it even stopped, backed up just that much. A backing up of a race car, a foot, is the key to Denny Hamlin win this, this race. If he doesn't make that move, he doesn't get that car back in the box, they don't settle the pole, they don't get that pit box, they don't win the race. So, uh, Picker did their part, but Hamlin was amazing by the way. Only the uh, fifth time in now 31 All-Star races that the pole sitter has won the race. An emotional night uh, and a memorable night for what is the last All-Star race for Jeff Gordon in his 22nd All-Star race. Had his family out, Ray Abraham before, uh, during the introductions, wound up fourth and standing by with Jeff Gordon is Matt Yoakum. Fourth place finish for Jeff Gordon in his final sprint All-Star race. What are you going to take from this race uh, into the history books as far as your final memories? Well, certainly the, the introductions, uh, you know, seeing all the fans holding those signs, uh, you know, the 24 on it, having Ingrid and the kids, my mom and my dad there was amazing. So, you know, those were all surprises to me. I, I asked my parents, I said, why are you guys here? I never see a driver introduction. So uh, now I know why. And that was very, very special, something I'll never forget. And I'm glad that we had a really solid uh, performance uh, overall as a team. That I'm really excited about that performance that we can take to next week's 600. Um, I think our car is pretty good, and I think we can make it a little bit better. Jeff Gordon, three-time All-Star champion. And the introductions, uh, his family was there.